Um, excuse me, y'all. Where's the father? He's a deadbeat bum with no job, no career, no nothing going on for himself and a loser. I'll be the man that steps up. My Sierra prayer has been I'm answered. Step What's your cash out? Dollar sign boy mom 265. I'm putting all your kids in private school. No more public school. They all going to private school. And my baby daddy thought Word. nobody would want me and my four what kids. What else they need? A place to stay. We about to get evicted. We behind the rent. That's six months of your rent already paid. Word. I don't. I don't. I, I don't have to live there. It's fine. To all the men on the street, this is a man. No shame. We need diapers. They've been pooping on themselves for a minute. You good? You want cheeky nuggy? No, he only eat at Noble, so we can I go bet. there. Can you put them on your will? I'm putting on my will right now. All your kids. Oh my God, I just shrugged dumb ass cold dog. Wait, do you nah, 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 nah. I, I don't got no kids of my own. Oh, thank God, because that would have been a deal breaker. I'm ready to step up. That's what a man does. I've said it before and I'll say it again and I'm going to keep saying it. Single mothers are not looking for love. They're looking for hell. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one. Hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know whenever I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. You no, know the thing is, single mothers, they always have an excuse for why they're a single mother. I'll be the victim all your life. But that excuse never has anything to do with them or the choices they make. Why do you do this? DDG definitely trapped Hallie with that baby. And here's- That little TikTok creator fun CPMs is not that high for y'all to be sitting on here talking for two minutes about me. You got two kids. I, little, I looked on your Instagram, I looked on your TikTok, everything. You got two kids. Hey yo, what the fuck? With no baby daddy. <clears throat> got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> but you worry about me. <laughs> Don't make sense to me. Y'all need to stop, bro. I'll be seeing what y'all be saying. Y'all be thinking I don't be seeing, but I'll be seeing this like, bro. I'm a father. I have, I'm in my child's life. Worry about your baby daddy. See, there's always an excuse. You notice that? I was young. I didn't know. I didn't know he was going to be like this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've been on Twitter long enough and you've been on YouTube for more than a year, you already know the excuses that these modern women make when it comes to having kids. You know, I just want to put out a disclaimer. If you're married and you get a divorce or you're married and your spouse dies, that's totally different. We're not talking about you. So don't get upset. Don't leave a hate comment. We're not talking about you. We're specifically talking about women that never get married. Let me break it down. You ignored the red flags. He ain't lying. You ignored every single red flag that this man gave you. Girl, you know it's true. If he was a liar now, he was a liar back then. Yep. If he cheated on you once, he's gonna cheat on you again. Back. And again and again. And see, what women have to understand is that men are simple. But there's one thing that I want every woman watching this video to listen to and understand. If you give a man an inch, he's going to take a mile. He ain't lying. What do you mean? If you allow a man to cheat on you once and he doesn't get a consequence or he doesn't get dumped, he's going to do it again. If you allow a man to lie to you multiple times, cheat on you, beat on you, do whatever it is, whatever it is that you don't, that you don't like, and you can see, and you can see 
that it's a red flag and you continue to allow that behavior and don't give a man a consequence, he's going to continue to do it over a longer period of time because you don't have a boundary. See, the reason why a man can cheat on you is because you don't have a boundary. The reason why a man can lie and gaslight you and manipulate you into doing what he wants you to do is because you don't have a boundary. You don't have healthy boundaries because you've never seen a healthy boundary in action. You've never seen what telling somebody no means. You've never seen a boundary. You've never seen somebody with a healthy relationship with a healthy you 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 don't know what that looks like and again like i always say your mother fails you so then you go out into the world and the the same behavior that your mother accepted is the same behavior you're gonna accept if your mother dealt with people that lied on her and abused her, chances are you're going to be the same way. If your mother dealt with a guy that had multiple kids by multiple women and he was cheating on her, chances are you're going to be the same way. The thing is, is that we learn these bad behaviors from our childhood, from our mothers from our parents and we internalize that and because we don't know any better as children growing up we accept the behavior we say well mommy dealt with it it must be okay so for everybody to keep asking me about where's my six kids daddy at let me let y'all know So my first baby daddy, which was my first love, and he's the father of my oldest, he has transitioned from Tony to Tracy. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? And he is now living in Atlanta, Georgia, dressed fully as a female. Of course he in Atlanta. And he does not want to have anything to do with his child. My second baby daddy was kicked in the chest by a horse it gave him an instant heart attack and he died. Damn. My third baby daddy, just a deadbeat, I didn't know that he was married. And when I told him I was pregnant, he confessed to her what the situation was. She went with it. And now we just waiting on the DNA test to come back so that they can pay child support. My fourth baby daddy decided he wanted to fucking be a pirate and go rob the boat freight and shit like that. So he is now serving 20 years. <laughs> a pirate is crazy. <laughs> well, you sure can't pick him. When he gets out, my child will be 25. <laughs> and my last two kids have the same father. Okay. Okay. And he is 72 years old, living in a nursing home with dementia. Come on, bitch. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Be honest. I want to be blunt and be honest. You can't pick men. Let's cut to the chase. Women, a lot of y'all suck when it comes to picking partners. In my last video, I briefly touched on this where I was discussing with a young lady on Twitter about which type of guy would you pick? An astrophysicist or a physics major or a thug? And then she said, it's not all black and white. It depends on how I feel. Well, if you're going to date based on how you feel, that's why you get into so many bad relationships. Because you're going to date based on if it feels good. If it feels good to you, if it feels right, it's all about the feeling. And that's why y'all suck when it comes to picking a partner. Because you're not going by who he is. You're going by 
how he makes you feel. He ain't lying. And that always leads to disaster. This woman that was in the previous clip, she could have avoided every pitfall and mistake you could possibly imagine, but I can almost guarantee that she grew up in a single parent household just like she created. You stupid. You stupid. You stupid. Single mothers create single mothers. If you look at a daughter that has a child and no man, and then you go look at her mother, her mother is going to be the same way. You stupid. You, 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 you stupid. Single motherhood is something that needs to end. We need to stop creating single mothers and broken families. Now we understand that the men, the dating pool is filled with pee and feces, but at the same time, you gotta take accountability for your role in the pee and feces in the dating pool. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.